Good question uh, related to electricity. Uh, the electric circuits mainly. Uh, we did question one, now question two. And the answer key is also there. So figure 8.1 shows three lamps are connected and a fuse, three lamps and a fuse uh, connected to a power supply. So there's a 220 volt supply, a fuse is there and three lamps are connected. How these lamps are connected in series or parallel to each other, how they're connected? Is it a series combination or a parallel combination? Parallel. So it's a parallel combination. And what is the characteristic of a parallel combination? The supply voltage, if only the one component, like all are in parallel, so the voltage will be same. If it's a 220 volts, so they all will have the same 220 volts. The voltage will be same, but the current will divide between them. Like the total current, if I say a total current is I, then it will be I1 here, this will be I2 here, and this will be I3 here. So the total current will divide between them, but the voltage they all receive or they all have the same voltage. That is the characteristic of a parallel circuit. In the question, the electromotive force, the EMF means when the chemical energy converted into electrical energy, um, each charge carry 220 joule, that's called EMF. Each lamp has a, uh, is labeled 220 and the power is 40. The rating of a fuse is two ampere. Like rating of a fuse two ampere means maximum it can allow two ampere. We have to calculate the current in each lamp. So we have the power of the lamp which is 40 watts, and we have the voltage, which is 220 volts. Which formula we can use to relate the power, voltage, and current as we need the current? So we have the formula power equals to voltage multiplied by current, or P equals VI. The power is 40, so we write here 40. The voltage is 220, and the current we don't know. So. We need the current, so it will be 40 divided by 220. What is 40 divided by 220? How much current will flow in each lamp? 40 divided by 220. What is the current? Uh, 0 0.18. So there is a 0.18. So there will be 0 0.18 ampere. And these all lamps are identical and they ha all have the same power. So 0 0.18 ampere in the first lamp, there will be 0 0.18 ampere in the second lamp, and there will be 0.18 ampere in the third lamp. So each lamp will have the same 0.18 ampere because these all lamps are identical. And we know the power and the voltage across each lamp. So the first part, the current in each lamp, whenever you have a case, like you have to write a formula, so that's why point. 1.8 ampere and one mark is for the writing a formula or substituting the values in the formula. Calculate the current in the fuse. So how much current will flow through a fuse? If there was a current of 0.18 in the lamp, first lamp, the current of 0.18 amperes in the second lamp and the current of 0.18 ampere in the third lamp. So how much current is from the sub passing through the fuse or from the supply? So as you can see, like the total current divide in the branches. So what will be this current? It will be three, because there are three lamps, three branches are there, each is 0 0.12. So total will be a total, each is 0 0.18. So total will be 0 0.18 times three. That will give us a total current in the fuse or from the supply. So 0 0.18 multiplied by three, what's the answer? 0 0.54. I mean 0 0.54 ampere, is the current which enter the circuit from the supply and that 0 0.54, 0 0.18 will flow through the first lamp, remaining 0.18 to the second and the 0.18 to the third. So that's why the total current which flow through the fuse or from the supply is 0 0.54 ampere. In the next part, the total number of the lamps which we can connect in parallel without uh, blowing the fuse.
fuse can because a fuse as i mentioned it have a rating of 2 ampere means maximum it can allow 2 ampere to flow if the current is more than 2 the fuse will not allow so the question is how many lamps more, more lamps can be connected the identical lamp so that the fuse does not blow so how we can work out this we want so the it will be a the total we need two maximum two two divided zero point one eight and current in each lamp is point one eight so we know how many lamps should be there so two divided by point one eight what's the answer uh eleven point one so eleven point one but lamps cannot be like point one or two so lamp can be either eleven or twelve so how many lamps we can connect in parallel so we don't say 11.1 we'll say 11 lamp because there's no 11.1 lamp or 11.2 so 11 lamps can be connected in parallel before this fuse will blow the last part after a long period of a uh, use the wire of a filament of one of the lamp become thinner underline the effect of this change on the resistance of a filament how the area affect the resistance it will increase decrease or stay same you can use the screen annotation to circle so the resistance will increase because resistance is inversely proportional to area state and explain that effect of this change have the on the power so how the power of the lamp is affected as the resistance increase look when lamps are connected in par, power is having a three formula p is equals to vi p is equals to v square over r or p is equals to i square r this this is how the power is related so what happen because the resistance of the lamp is increasing so the, what happened to the current the current will decrease voltage is same because they are connected in parallel voltage does not change so if the current is decrease as the resistance increase the current will decrease and as the current will decrease the power of the lamp will also decrease so answer here you don't have to use the other two formulas to explain you simply mention that power is a product of voltage and current voltage is same as they are in parallel so as the resistance in p the current decreases when the current decreases the power will also decrease